The Reactant Dynamo is a machine from the Thermalcraft mod pack that can generate redstone flux. It operates by combining a fuel source with a reactant. This table details the fuel sources and reactants that are available with the current version of the Thermal Expansion mod pack. The Reactant Dynamo has one inventory slot on its interface. You can't place buckets of liquid directly in the interface and have them automatically fill the tank. Instead, just right click on the exterior of the dynamo with the bucket in hand. Alternatively, you can pump the liquids in using a Buildcraft fluid pipe or a thermal expansion fluid duct. The reactants are usually in item form. They can simply be placed in the reactant dynamo's inventory by hand or by connecting a Buildcraft transport pipe or a thermal expansion item duct. As soon as you have both a reactant and a liquid present in the reactant dynamo's interface, it will begin producing redstone flux. This bar in the interface will show you how much redstone flux is available in its internal buffer. The exterior of the reactant dynamo will light up whenever it's producing redstone flux. As the buffer fills up, the power output will drop, and over time, the redstone flux in the buffer will slowly drain by itself, so I recommend connecting energy conduits to the output face of the dynamo to carry the redstone flux away to a more efficient storage device. They can also be connected directly to an energy cell if need be, making sure the output face is facing directly into the energy cell. Now, back to the fuel and reactant tables. One thing you'll probably notice here is that both the fuel and the reactant tables have a redstone flux value, so some people's first thought is that they both add together. So, if you combine one sugar and one bucket of sludge inside the dynamo, you'll get 16,000 redstone flux from each. Now, that does make sense, but that's not how it works. What these tables are saying is that when one of these reactants is combined with one of these fuels, they'll generate that amount of redstone flux. So that might initially be a little confusing, so here's an example. I'll combine one gunpowder, which has a total redstone flux yield of 160,000, with one bucket of sewage, which has a yield of only 16,000. I have the reactant dynamo connected directly to this leadstone energy cell, which is where the dynamo's redstone flux will be collected. As we can see, this combination created 16,000 redstone flux, which is equal to the total yield of one bucket of the sludge. Going back to the dynamo, we can see that it's not outputting any power as there is no more sludge. There is still some gunpowder left however. This gunpowder will stay here available for use, and it will not deplete by itself. It initially had a total yield of 160,000 redstone flux, then we combined it with one bucket of sludge. After the sludge was completely used up, the gunpowder's yield is now reduced by 16,000 to 144,000. If I add another bucket of sludge, which will quickly be used up, another 16,000 redstone flux will be generated. This will decrease the gunpowder's yield by 16,000 to 128,000. This can then be repeated until its yield reaches zero, and then the gunpowder will run out. There are three other dynamos that you might be interested in. I have separate tutorials for all of those located here if you're interested. If you found this video helpful or informative, please give it a like, and if you want to see more tutorials like this one, you might want to consider subscribing. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments, and have a great day!